Pennsylvania Highway 100. Yay, we've made it to the three digits, and we're starting with the very first three-digit number. All right, PA 100 is a connector between the Philly metro area and the Allentown area, although it is more of a minor connector compared to other routes. Here's a look at the map. As you can see, PA 100 goes north-south between Westchester, nearby that, through Pottstown and up to the Allentown area, ending in Heidelberg Township at PA 309. All right, so first we're gonna be talking about northbound PA 100. So here we start on US 202, and we can see PA 100 is getting signed to US 30 westbound, and it's saying westbound there because we have an intersection for eastbound, and we're getting signed for Exton. Why Exton? That should be signed for Pottstown, if we want to sign an actual city on there. Pottstown is what we should go with. You're watching the Xavier 456. I post new highway content every week. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and smash the like button. And if you really like it, the subscribe button is waiting for you to smash it as well. And so is the notification bell is waiting for you to ring it. Here he meets with US 30 in Exton and is getting signed eastbound for King of Prussia and Philadelphia. Good choices there. On this very same interchange, PA 100 is getting signed for Exton and Westchester. Westchester is good, that's for southbound, but Exton. Pottstown. Pottstown is what should be there. However, when we look on Business US 30, we're getting Pottstown signed, finally, for northbound. Thank God. Here he meets with PA 113, which is getting signed for Downingtown and Phoenixville, and we are still getting signed for Pottstown. This interchange was requested by Chuck Slezak, and you can request your exit down in the comments below. Next week, we will be covering PA-147. Here is where we meet with the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and off of the Pennsylvania Turnpike, we're getting signage for Pottstown still. Good job. Here, we're meeting 422, and it is getting signed east for King of Prussia, and though you can't see it up there, it is getting signed west for Reading. Great job with those choices there. At the same interchange, 100 is getting signed north for Allentown. Wonderful choice. I love that control city. Here we get a mileage sign with Bally on the top line at 4 and Allentown on the bottom line at 21. Great job there. Here we are merging into US 222 to 22, and once we split, we are signed for Fogglesville and Trexler Town. Trexler Town is actually four roads south of here, and we are signed north for Fogglesville. I mean, I don't know about Fogglesville really, that's because of I-78. I want to see something else there. Here we meet I-78 and US-22, and it is getting signed west for Harrisburg and east for Allentown. That should be Allentown and New York. Here we get a pull through with 100 north for Tamaqua. And that's actually a really good choice because we are dead ending into PA 309, which is going to take you to Tamaqua. Here we get a mileage sign with pleasant corners on the top line and Tamaqua on the bottom at 28. Great job. Here is where you dead ended to PA 309. It's getting signed north for Tamaqua along with Hazleton. And those are really good choices. And it's getting signed south for Allentown. And that's also good too, because we didn't touch Allentown really. All right, now it's time to talk about southbound, PA 100. Here we get a direction shield and nothing else for South 100, but we do get a mileage sign right after, and we're getting Fogglesville on the top line eight at Trexler Town on the bottom line. Why Trexler Town? That's not on PA 100. If you want to sign something that is on PA 100, go with Pottstown. Pottstown. Here you meet I-78 and 22 again with Harrisburg and Allentown. Again, Allentown and New York. And then we meet with US-222, which is getting north for Allentown. And Allentown is fine by itself on this road. And South-222 and 100 are getting signed for McCungy and Redding. So Redding is for 222, but McCungy is for us. I don't like that choice, that should be Pottstown. But once we split from US-222, which is now getting signed for Cudstown and Reading, we are signed for Makungi and Pottstown. So I'm glad you threw Pottstown on this sign. Here we meet with the southern split of PA-29, which I apologize for not covering earlier on. I only covered the northern part of the road, but it's not getting any signage here. Although, when we look at a direction sign on PA-29, we can see East Greenville signed for PA-29, and South 100 is now getting signed for Boyertown. Boyertown is less populous than Pottstown. Way less populous, actually. So you should still be signing Pottstown. 
But once we get a mileage sign, Bally is on the top line, and Boyertown is on the bottom line. Boyertown is not as big as Pottstown! Why are you signing Boyertown over Pottstown? If you're having a mileage sign with two lines, you should be signing Boyertown and Pottstown! Ugh! PennDOT! And this is the only reason we signed Boyertown. PA73. It is getting signed for Gilbertsville and Boyertown. Although when we look at the same intersection, we can see 100 is signed for Allentown and Pottstown. Thank God. Here we meet with US-422, and now you can see it's signed for Reading westbound, and up there it's signed for King of Prussia, which we saw earlier. And here, 100 South is getting signed for Westchester. That's a good choice. Here we meet with the Pennsylvania Turnpike once again, and once we look at the same sign off of the Turnpike, 100 is signed for Downingtown. And that's not on PA 100. The only reason they're signing Downingtown is because of US 30, which should be getting signed westbound for Lancaster. That should not be Downingtown. It should still be Westchester. Here we meet US 30 West signed for Downingtown and Lancaster. I'm glad Lancaster's on there. On this interchange, PA 100 is getting signed to South US 202 with Exton and Westchester. Just keep Westchester on there and don't use Exton. Here is where we split with the Pottstown Pike, which was actually the old alignment of PA 100, and this was requested by Chuck Slezak as well. And here we end and merge into US 202 southbound, and that'll be it for PA 100. Thanks for watching this video. Next week we'll be covering PA 147. I'll see you all then, and may peace be with you.